As always, I'm getting something from Walmart, but this time it's a little different. Why? Because it's August, and August means that they bring in all the back to school items at practically half the price, which for me means that you're gonna catch me there buying a lot of stuff. So as I'm looking through the aisle with my happy brain, I reach out and I grab the erasable colored pencils from Crayola. And I take a good look at them and I'm like, wow, these kind of remind me of the Prismacolor Call Erase pencils. I wonder if they would be used the same way. So as I'm standing there wondering that with the box in my hand, all of a sudden out of nowhere, the Ward of Wisdom makes an appearance. Then the Ward of Wisdom looks at me and says, yo, you should buy that right there. And they make a comparison between the two for a video. And then to which I agreed. Thus, this is how the video was birthed. So let's start off with our comparisons. First, we have the Prismacolor Color Race Pencil, which comes in either a 12 count on Amazon for around $7 or a 24 count on Amazon for around $13. You can also buy them individually on some sites like BlickStudio.com for a dollar and 30 cents each. As you can see, the barrel is the same color as which it states, like this is a pink pencil, which means the barrel is pink. It comes with the standard eraser at the end. The lettering is in like this silver metallic kind of thing. And it says that the color is pink, along with the name Prisma color on the barrel. It's a pretty straightforward pencil. There's honestly nothing else I can think of like looks wise for it. Now we could take a look at our Crayola 24 pack of erasable colored pencils, which in all reality is what the Prismacolor Color Erase Pencil is, an erasable color pencil. Uh, the box is nothing too fancy, it's just your standard Crayola box, I just wanted to show you it just in case you were wondering what it looked like instead of just the individual pencil. It tells you all the colors that it comes with and their whole message of whatever it's like i <laughs> i honestly don't care at least on the bright side they do include the uh colors on the top so you kind of see what you're getting and inside there is 24 of them i did pay around three dollars and fifty cents for this pack and honestly it's a pretty great price for 24 erasable colored pencils for fair comparison i'm going to be using the pink crayola erasable colored pencil so this way we get to see how it looks like with the same color even though it's two different pencils. The barrel is pink and white and kind of has that little Crayola swirl at the end like it always does. It also says on there erasable colored pencil along with the color of the pencil that you're using which is pink. The color pencil, well yeah it is a color pencil, came pre-sharpened in the package which was actually pretty nice. For size comparison that's what it looks like before the Prismacolor was sharpened and now after sharpening it it was a little shorter than the Crayola erasable colored pencil, which isn't bad. Of course, you still get a lot of uses out of it. It's just something to note. I will say, however, that when you're holding them both, you definitely feel a difference in the quality of the pencil. Like the Prismacolor one feels a little bit more sturdy in comparison to the Crayola one. But the real test is when you put it down on paper. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. On the left side, we're going to have our Crayola. On the right side, we're going to have our Prismacolor. I'm basically going to be doing the same thing with both sides when I'm trying to see the difference between them. The first little swatch is for just seeing how the color looks. The second one is how light it could go. And then the third one is how dark it can go. They were definitely different from each other. The Prismacolor side is smoother and has a lot more pigment. However, it's harder to erase on the paper. But if we compare that to the Crayola side, the Crayola side is less pigmented, but has the Crayola texture or colored pencil texture to it, but it's significantly easier to erase. So at that point, it would be dependent on if you want more color output or less, and if you want something that's harder to erase or easier to erase. I also, when I was doing that eraser test, I was only using the end eraser that it came with, but I did a second eraser test to see if it would make a difference if I went really hard with a regular eraser. And the Prismacolor still held some residue behind of the color, while the Crayola didn't hold any residue at all. And I think that's important because uh, when you're drawing and you're coloring in, sometimes the pink will show up under the marker or the supply that you're using. So that's something to take note of if you don't want that color under your sketch slash your finished piece versus if you do. So to recap, mostly the Prismacolor just has more pigment and is harder to erase because it has more pigment, but it looks smoother in comparison. 
While Crayola is less pigmented, it's easier to erase, but it looks like it was a Crayola colored pencil that did the job. The next thing I want to do is test it out on an actual drawing, which is probably the most important test of all of them. The one thing though that I was realizing when I was using the Crayola uh, erasable colored pencil was that it was feeling type weird in my hand and I was like looking at it, I'm like, hold on, is this crooked? Is the pencil crooked? So I took the Prismacolor uh, pencil and then I compared the both of them and it is slightly bented. So I was like, okay, that felt weird in my hand. No wonder um, that I was like, what is going on here? So keep that in mind that the quality, like I kind of said earlier, isn't necessarily as good as the Prismacolor one when it comes to like the pencil itself, not necessarily the graphite inside of it. So um, I forgot to mention that the paper I'm using is smooth paper, it's the Copic sketchbook paper. Um, I usually use this sketchbook which is why I was like okay let's do this test on here instead of on the mixed media sketchbook. So keep that in mind that maybe that would hold a different result, however I really doubt that it truly would because it's just the uh, pencil or color pencil that we're using for a sketch in comparison as to using it for an entire illustration so you'd usually want a, a, a toothed paper or a mixed media paper for color pencil illustrations but since this isn't again an illustration and just a sketch I believe we should be fine. Now after drawing both the characters which I retried honestly to make them look the same but it was not gonna happen but I did what I did anyway. <laughs> the Crayola one looks more textured like I said before compared to the Prismacolor one which looks less textured. When I took my neater over the uh, sketch and erased I almost felt like I was at a disadvantage with the Crayola side because it almost erased too much of the sketch because of how easily it could just take away the pigment and I was like okay that's kind of something I'd have to be careful of because if you erase too much of your sketch you're gonna be like where did I put anything and then that's gonna suck you're gonna sit there and well I'm gonna sit there anyway and be like well where did I put the eye or what part of the hair is supposed to go where in comparison to the Prismacolor one which is kind of good that the pigment is left behind because of that reason so there's like a disadvantage and advantages to both of them it honestly just depends on more than anything what you kind of want to see in your artwork do you want to see that pink graphite under the drawing or not and will it really affect how your art looks I do think it affects how the art looks it does make it look a little pinker or redder or any other color that you're using for the color race pencil but when I was using the Crayola one it didn't really look like it had much of an effect then again again it was erased really really like down to nothing like the sketch was basically invisible so there's also probably that as to why it didn't really show up under the sketch I did take the markers and then I went over the uh, spaces that I need to after inking it just to see if it would make a difference. I even added some of the um, Crayola colored pencil onto that side and the Prisma color onto that side just to see if um, it would show up under the sketch more and only very very slightly did it really show up under the sketch more for the Prisma color side but once basically the entire thing was complete there basically was no difference. So for the Crayola erasable colored pencils at half the price for double the pencils is a great deal and you could use them to sketch and I honestly highly suggest them. The drawings came out perfectly fine with both of them. So yeah, thanks for watching and remember I love you. Bye.